So I did a few things that I didn't really record too much of, just a bit for clips. I found, well, I was looking for the crossbow along the high wall of Lothric, just scouring the entire place. I ended up finding an area I'd never went through before. It was covered by barrels, basically overlooking that area right before the main arena with the dogs and the axe wielders. But also in that area with the dogs and the axe wielders, I found a cell key that then unlocked a cell that contains ah. this other guy. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then, huh? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. And after that, well, around that time, I also did find a crossbow. I actually found a crossbow on the corpse of one of the crossbow wielders, because that's how Dark Souls 3 does things. I'm still not sure how much I like that, how I care about that, but yeah, I finally have my crossbow. So yeah, I got the crossbow. I finally have my main loadout. I'm very happy about this, because I have been... Waiting for this. I mean, I was complaining about this the last couple episodes, as I'm sure it annoyed most of you. But yeah, that's. I'm really happy. I just have my crossbow now that I can. As long as I make sure to load it. Actually, let's go over a bit of experimentation with the crossbow actually does. This isn't really the best place to do it, though. Because there are a couple things I do want to experiment with that aren't quite so straightforward. For instance,. I don't know if crossbow's backstab or jumping attack, and so gonna have a bit of a diversion. So we go to the high wall of Lothric because I know there's some areas, enemies here that are fairly easy to fight. No, we'll need to worry about not being used to how this works. Granted, it is a crossbow, and crossbows are relatively straightforward. Well, let's just see. So, I mean, it's basically you load and you fire. It doesn't really matter what you load. As long as it's loaded, it'll fire whatever bolt, so you don't have to load a bolt to fire it. And it has... If I two-hand it, let's see, so it's still firing. Although I can, of course, zoom in using the left weak attack. And left strong attack is a tackle. Which is interesting, I was kind of hoping that the strong attack would be some kind of ranged parry, but I guess it makes sense. Though I'm curious if there's going to be any kind of... Oops. Now what I want to know is what happens if I tackle you. Can I... Oh, that doesn't really help. Also, the other thing I was kind of curious about is, is there a ranged attack? Or not ranged attack, a jumping attack. No, there is no jumping attack. Shoot. I was kind of hoping to be a jumping attack or something. I mean, if you're going to put more into crossbows, like something that you kind of jump over, slam them down, then shoot them in the face, that'd be awesome. Along with something, because I mean, I can obviously do that right now if I do this with this and then... Okay, I guess I can't because I need to shoot from there. But you know, it's sort of a thing. At least somewhat useful. I wonder if I should get rid of that dragon. I feel like I should get rid of that dragon. I'm just going to go get rid of that dragon. So I think there isn't really much else to experiment with because it's not like... I mean, I can't really... Wow, that's a one-shot? No, it didn't scream at least. But yeah, that's the screamer. 
So it looks like I can't jumping attack. Not sure if I can backstab. That's one thing I want to try out. Actually, there's a couple things I want to try out. First is, can I backstab? And the second is, do tackles get through shielding opponents? Ow. Probably want to be loaded first. No, that doesn't really make a difference. Load up. Like, one thing I want to do, I mentioned right at the start, is something that's like a gun kind of thing, except with crossbows, which I don't think is a possibility, since... Oops. Okay, one thing I do, I should probably try then, is... It doesn't look like tackle really breaks shields in the same way. It's not a guard break type thing. Heal up. And yeah, you will notice I'm not going to be using that whole healing thing as often as I used to, because it's not really an option anymore. Ow. Okay. Oops. Can I not kick? That's weird. No, it looks like I cannot kick, actually. Okay. Actually, a better option, because I wanted to test this out. What happens if I... Oh, what happens if I miss? Okay, it doesn't actually break shield guard. Darn it! Like I said, I kind of want to do a, like a dual crossbow with still kind of a bit of a melee touch to it, but apparently that's not an option. Oops. So that's a bit disappointing. I was... I was really hoping for that. <laughs> like going dual crossbows and then tackling people down and shooting them when they're down and being able to still... I should have to test backstab, but being able to still do critical attacks and such. Get out of there. Alright, 51. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Does this... Oh, no. Wrong way. Oh, come on. I was wanting to know, is it, does it make... Does it deal more damage? No, it does not deal more damage when it is... How much more damage does it deal for heavy bolts, though? Not much. I was wondering, does it deal more damage if I do it with two-handed? It does not deal exactly the same amount of damage either way. It's better be worth it. I don't have enough bolts to make this work. Oh yeah, the other thing I was curious about was stamina usage. Stamina usage is on par with a longsword from the looks of it. Although, it's firing that uses stamina and not reloading. So it's kind of a compromise between Dark Souls 1 and 2. Like, it uses stamina to fire, which did in 2 and didn't in 1. But it doesn't use stamina to reload, which is always the part that was the scarier part. Especially given that the fire rate is so fast now. Is this going to get off its perch, or am I just going to be able to shoot at it forever? This is really weird. Okay, so it stops stamina regain when you reload, it uses stamina to fire. That seems sensible. I mean, I don't really totally agree with using stamina to fire, but that is kind of how the stamina system works, is that you do stuff, it uses stamina. Is this dragon ever going to come? I have a bit of a hunch this dragon is respawning. Like, it's not even... It'll die, but it doesn't even matter. Like, it's not gonna come... It, it would've come down to fight me by now. So, I can just kill it, but I'm guessing what'll happen is that when it dies, it'll not stay dead. Okay. I think I'm just gonna cut to the end of this, so... See you guys when this thing's dead. Or not, because apparently it just scarpered. Okay. Bye. It'll be back. I'm sure it'll be back. There feels like, th I feel like there's a much reduced emphasis on any kind of non-respawning enemies in Dark Souls 2, or sorry, Dark Souls 3 compared to 1. And 2, I guess. Like, there's just more in the way of respawning stuff. And now I used up a load of bolts to get a large titanite shard and not much else. 
Great. Real smart use of souls there. Okay, so crossbows are basically about as a little bit more useful than they were in earlier games, but they aren't magically the most cool thing in the world that you could just do some strategy built entirely around them, as I was vainly hoping you could. Eh, it's not a bad compromise. Okay, so live with that. I do need more bolts though, since I went and used up most of mine. Uh -huh. But it does mean I probably can't really do any kind of crossbow kata build without it being a bit boring and slow. Okay, so... 99 held, 19 stored. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so back to... Not the dilapidated bridge. I want to go to the Undead Settlement. And I want to go here for two reasons. First is that in the recap, you did see there was the guy talking about Loretta. And this Loretta woman, I actually, I think we met her already. I actually, I'll kill this enemy first, and then I'll bring it up. Ah, come on. Hey, I can meet you. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I can do that. Awesome. So, yeah, this blue tear stone ring, oops, which is basically, okay, read the description. This stone is said to be a tear of sorrow of the goddess Katha. And of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Wow, that's morbid even for me. Sheesh. But yeah, it's defense at low health. Or damage absorption at low health. I guess that's actually a better thing. As I mentioned before, damage absorption is a flat percentage reduction, whereas defense is a weird quadratic function that's fairly complex and piecewise defined. Anyway, so yeah... I was asked to task. I was tasked with giving to Loretta, and the thing is, we kind of already know and have found Loretta. Was you see this bone here? Oh, where was it? I'm here somewhere. Oh, one sec. I have a farmer to kill. Do you have anything useful? You have a hat. I guess I could sell the hats. Oh yeah, that's right. Selling's a thing in this game. I can sell an item to that one woman who I buy items from. I should probably do that. So anyways, my equipment. Oh yeah, Loretta's bone. So, this woman's corpse was found clutching this bone. It was this one over here. She doesn't seem to be in particularly good shape. Well, at least I could tell the guy I tried. Hey, she's trying to follow me on my quest. Oh, isn't that nice of her. But I'm going to have to go past and not really let her into much. There's nothing down the well, is there? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, she'll have to she'll have to wait it out, I'm afraid. So what I want to do right now is actually go along this path over here. I feel like something's coming up to get to me. Drink up, and... Is this path over here had stuff... I don't even know what it was. Another Titanite Shard! Nice, and I have large Titanite Shards too, so when I need to upgrade those, or weapons that use those, that'll be a thing I'll have. Oh, not one ninja. Oh, these are the same ninjas that dropped down on me in that other area! Nice! Okay, you can actually stop them. I should have taken this path first! Who knew? No, not a secret. Or if it is, I don't know how to open secrets. But how about that? That was actually a thing you could have done. That's... I like that! That's really cleverly designed. I do like that. I feel a little stupid for having not realized that sooner, but hey, you know what? I took a path and... I got what that path gave me. But I mean, that's kind of an interesting setup. I have... Have I checked this? I have checked this, haven't I? Yeah, it doesn't really help me. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of cool, is that there was a way of essentially disarming that trap. Also, one other thing I noticed, which I'm a little surprised I didn't realize sooner, that door, there's a door down here. I pointed out there's a door here that I cannot open from this side. But as one may notice, it's the same area that I can see down that hole. And it didn't occur to me at the time that that hole was actually anything more than just a bad way of getting down, because a lot of times it is. 
And... Oh. <gasps> there we go! Found my covenant ring! Let's see. An ancient talisman depicting a holy symbol bestowed upon the Warriors of Sunlight. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Warriors of Sunlight are brilliantly ble beaming co-operators who place their golden signatures to help those in need. For it is their duty to deliver a great conquest to their summoner. And also, the way of blue, I've already read this one, I think. Oh, no, I haven't. Pale blue sheepskin parchment featuring an illustration of the moon, symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the way of blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When the dark spirit threatens them, a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically while this is equipped. So yeah, I, don't, I guess there's Blaze of the Dark Moon or something like that. Estus Soup. Oh! Praise the soup. <laughs> okay. Wait, is that a dev message? Actually, I can't tell. Eh, sure, why not. But yeah, that's... Okay, so basically, I get... Warrior Sunlight Covenant. Ah, is there a secret here? And I get free healing. I mean, it doesn't look like, it does not replenish my Estus Flask, but it does heal me up for free. That's nice. And now I get a shortcut to Estus Soup, which I guess is great for healing me up for free. Alright, so that answers that question of where that whole door was set up for. I can kill these one shot. I don't need to worry about it. There we go. I don't need to cross with them too much. So that is nice. That is pretty cool. I like that development. Although I feel like I saw something else around here. Oh, right. It was back here. But that's just a path down to the same path that I took last time. Which, do I want to take it this time? I don't know. I think I kind of like taking the path I was just taking. Especially now that I've found essentially where I need to go and I've got rid of one of the big ambushes that was causing me problems. Or disarmed it for this run. I can just keep going. I mean, one of those enemies there is probably not going to be anywhere near as threatening as it was the one back over at the end of the hall. That enemy is nowhere near as threatening now that I have a loaded crossbow. See? I mean, it wasn't that threatening to begin with, but... Especially now with a loaded crossbow, it's just... Soften it up. That's not even where I want to use the crossbow. My Honestly, my style for the crossbow was more using it as a final attack, where it's... I've damaged an enemy a fair amount. Actually, this would be a perfect opportunity for that. But I've damaged an enemy a fair amount, and they're backing away or something, and I just finish them off. That's how I like to use the crossbow. Oh yeah, that's right. Right is secret stuff. It was a soul. Solid soul. I think I've used by now. Ah, I don't just wake up this enemy. Shoot. But I do get a media attack, and that media attack does do its job. I also like to attract attention with this thing. Whoops! Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Not good! That's much better. Okay. Heal up! Oh boy. I'm glad I had the bleed bite ring, though. That's a really good item for this area. Oh wait, I don't need to do this. Or maybe I do? I mean, I pointed out before I can just sort of aim... Whoa! No! Ow! Maybe I should just aim it. Like, actually snipe it out. Get down here. Wait, do I not... Oh, that's out of range. Oh, interesting. Like, this is the path that I refused to take an earlier time, and I kind of see why I did, because, frankly, this is not a path I... Oh, come on. Bad time to grab items. Okay. Okay. Oh, what did you get hit? There we go. Okay, so... Heal up. Eesh. Yeah, we're not going to see a lot of regen health for the next little while. Get over here. Wow. Get 
Get over here. There we go. Now you're dead. As befits one such as you. Hmm. Come to my level. Or I'll just crossbow you out. I mean, if you're not gonna come down here, I have all day. Actually, I don't. I have probably about 15 minutes, but still. Actually, maybe less than that. In fact, I feel like I'm just retreading ground here. But it's not something I like to do. But at the same time, I am retreading old ground in new, maybe less interesting, but still new ways. I must have missed secrets by now. By now, I have to have missed secrets. There's no way I haven't. I just can't find them. I mean, this whole area is pretty dilapidated. It's honestly hard to tell what's supposed to be here and what's not. Oh! Well, this is supposed to be here, that's for sure. I knew this wasn't just nothing. I knew there was something up here that wasn't... Yeah, because there's an item. I saw the glow of the item here, and it's a Titanite Shard! Awesome! I think that's actually enough for plus two, but I'm not sure. Oops. Equipment, I have... Three! No! I do not have enough yet. I've, I'm one short, but still, that's more and more Titan of Charge, which is always nice. And that's not an option. Ow. And of course, we know there is a bonfire down there. Oh wait, there's a Titan Lizard down there, too. Get back here! No! 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 No, 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 no! There we go! Sharp gem! I feel like the creators may have been running out of ideas of how to set up your weapons and fusions, because... I mean, at this point, it's starting to get a little ridiculous. I mean, so far we have... Well, Ron was there before. Refined kind of makes sense of the opposite of raw, but now there's sharp? Oh. Well, hey, you had a message there. I wanted to read it. Sort of doing something makes me a miscreant. Oh, right, there's a stamina cost of firing now. It's a bit of a problem for this sort of well. Okay. There we go. Got rid of you. Although those enemies are actually not too difficult. And bonfire! Oh wait, why do I care about bonfire? I have very little bonfire. I actually have nothing to worry about. And I'm nowhere near leveling up. Even considering all the solid souls I've got. Yeah, I... Well, actually, this is 2,000, 2,800. Nah, that's not enough. Although, actually, what I wanted to do was go down here? Or does it go up there? There's a few paths I want to take, actually. This is one of them. The other one's actually back at the Undead Settlement again. Which also involves taking that shortcut. So, either way, I could take the shortcut or I could go... past. This is a boss arena. I'm pretty sure... Okay, and the giant is shooting arrows. I just get the impression this is a boss arena. I'm gonna head over to the other side. I'm a little curious what the rats are doing right now, so I'll just go through the main path, but I'll do that next episode. So thanks for watching. That is gonna be it for episode 11, I guess? Yeah, so I have my stuff! Yay! I've got my loadout. It's awesome. Really happy, the whole thing. Whole, I mean, some back of bones, but yeah. Whole crossbow, longsword, sorry, claymore, longsword, crossbow, and chime. All together. And I got my warrior sunlight. I've got so many things that I've been looking forward to so long. So yeah.
have a good night and come back for the next episode.